In addition to collecting written responses from your students, you can also create questions that students answer with verbal responses using Schoology's record tool. This tool also allows you to record question prompts for your students. To begin, create a test or quiz. If you want students to be able to answer a question verbally, use the Add Question button and choose Short Answer Essay. Type in the text you wish students to answer or respond to. Then put a check mark in the Allow Video or Audio Answers for Students box. I also recommend putting a check mark in the Hide Text field. If you leave in a text box, students may mistakenly type their answers instead of recording them. And if you leave the text box in, students will be required to put something into it. I think it's a lot easier just to hide the text box so that the only option is for students to record their answers. Add in the points you want your question to be worth and then choose Create Question. Let's take a look at what a student will see when answering a test question verbally. Students will see the question text and then a Record Answer link. When clicked, students will choose the audio option and click the red record button. They will then often need to allow the computer to let Schoology access their microphone. If they put a check mark in the remember box, they will only have to do this once. If they don't see the permissions options shown here, make sure they are clicking on the tab with the eye depicted on the monitor. Students will then record their answers and push the stop button when finished. They can preview their recording and when they're happy with it, use the attach button to attach it as their answer to the question. Then they can move on to the next question in the test, or if they're finished, use the submit button if they are done with the entire test. If you would like to record a verbal prompt for your students for a question instead of a written one, you can also use Schoology's record tool, or you can record an MP3 using a tool of your choice. To use Schoology's record tool, create your quiz, then use the Add Questions button to add in the type of question you want. Type in any written text you may need, and enter the answer choices if applicable. Then scroll down beneath the question and the answer choices to find the record link. Again, you may be prompted to allow Schoology to access your microphone. Record your message, preview it, and if you're pleased, attach it. Your message will be attached beneath your question text and before the question answers. If you would like more control over where your audio message is located within your written directions, you can use any MP3 recording tool to record your message. I typically will use vocaroo.com because it's free and very easy. Once you've saved your audio message to your computer, you go back to Schoology and simply use the Add Media button to insert your MP3 file anywhere you'd like it to be in your test question. Choose Attach Files and browse to your saved MP3. Once selected, an audio player will be inserted in your question that contains your MP3 file. After you save your changes, your media will need anywhere from a few minutes up to an hour to be fully processed and ready to play inside your quiz. After your media has processed, this is what it will look like. The first example has an audio prompt that was recorded with the Schoology Record tool. Note that the media has a video type player and a link to also download the file. Here is an audio prompt recorded into an MP3 format first with a tool like Vocaroo. Any MP3 file you put into a question will get a player that looks just like this. Whether you use Schoology's record tool or record MP3s with a different tool, it's very easy to deliver audio prompts and collect verbal answers from your students with Schoology's quiz tool.